Good day, I'm back again. This is your stat tutor, Dr. Nandi. Today, I'm going to talk about hypothesis test for proportion using confidence interval concept. So I will share my screen with you. So here is the problem, hypothesis test for proportion using confidence interval concept. Government data show that nationally, 54% of car accidents are caused by driver error. A researcher studies 30 randomly selected accidents and finds that 14 were caused by driver error. Using alpha equal to 0 0.05, is it possible to reject the government data. Okay. So the null hypothesis is, of course, proportion of car accident, which are caused by driver errors, P is equal to 0.54. This is the population proportion. And the alternate hypothesis, since we have not been told greater than or less than, a safe assumption for the alternate is P not equal to 0.54. In the problem, they have given us the level of significance as 0 0.05. Remember, level of significance is maximum probability of rejecting H0 when it is true. So the confidence level that we have in our test is 1 minus the significance level, or 1 minus 0 0.05 is 0.95. Now, from the sample data, n is equal to 30 sample size, and X is the number of successes is 14, the small number. Yes, successes are accidents caused by driver error. So we are going to use the confidence interval concept. So we are going to calculate one prop Z interval or one proportion Z interval. So we go to the calculator, put the calculator on, then press the stat button, then highlight test, on the top row. And then you are going to scroll down to one prop Z int. You're not going to see it in the first screen. So you have to scroll down with the down arrow key beyond the first screen. And in position A as in Apple, you'll see one prop Z int, A as in Apple, one prop Z int. Select that, okay? Your X is 14, type X, number of successes, the small number, 14. And N, X is 14 out of sample size, N is 30. C level is 0.95, confidence level, because it's one minus level of significance. And we calculate. So the two numbers that we get are 0.29 and 0.65. What does it mean? With 95% confidence, we can state that the population proportion <coughs> of accidents caused by driver error will fall between 0.29 and 0.65. Notice our null hypothesis is P, population proportion is equal to 0.54. And that is inside this 95% confidence interval between 0.29 and 0.65. Hence, the decision is fail to reject H0 because the hypothesized population proportion of 0.54 is inside the 95% confidence interval. We fail to reject H0 because it is inside that 95% confidence interval. So if we fail to reject H0, then our conclusion is at alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is not enough evidence to support the alternate P not equal to 0.54, okay? So we fail to reject H0, that is our decision. And our conclusion is that alpha equal to 0.05, there is not enough evidence to support the alternate P not equal to 0.54. Please uh, put any comment that you have in regards to this uh, video and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I come back every week with more TI-84 solve problems from statistics. So please do not miss anything. Please subscribe to my channel. Please put any comment that you have. 
and we will see you next time with another problem okay thank you bye